Folks, if you are out there looking to invest in the Cleveland market, I don't want you spending your hard-earned money before you come here and have me assess your deal. Lots of money can be uh, made in these cheap markets like Cleveland, but also lots of money can be lost. Today, we're looking at this deal for my client, Mark. 19900 That's all they're asking for this thing. And, Mark, you asked me if this would make for a good bird deal, right? Buy, rent, renovate refinance, repeat. I said rent before renovate. That would be crazy. No, you got to renovate it before you could rent it. But you guys get what I'm saying. What you need to know is if the deal's good or bad. So folks, do not, do not go in blind and buy these properties without doing the due diligence. And the best way to begin your initial due diligence is by sending your deals to be like Mark has done. And I will give you the skinny on whether or not I think you could actually pull off a successful bird deal or if this is something you should move on from. Let's check it out now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. As I mentioned, I am going to be doing this bird deal analysis for my guy Mark out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, right? You sent this to me. You're like, hey, this one might be interesting for a potential bird deal, right? 19.9 is all they're asking for it. Properties in Lorraine, right? It's uh what is it? 1043 West 19th Lorraine, right? I dig this neighborhood. You got ARV, probably like 80K on this one. Uh, and it is definitely real screwed up, bro, uh, for sure, right? Uh, gonna definitely need major repairs. You got all these holes in the ceiling, uh, probably major water damage, uh, issues like that, right? So it's definitely gonna be a massive, massive renovation. As far as, like, piecing together a reno like this, like, cosmetically, I would say you're probably looking at, like, 40. But then we get into the bigger stuff, right? We get into uh, the plumbing system, the HVAC. You probably need a roof, right? So cosmetic and the roof, you're probably looking at, like, a 50 spot, right? So that's fine. That's well and good because uh, even if you bought it at 20 50 in the roof uh, and the cosmetics, you're all in at 70. If we can get it to appraise at 80 or above, it's a pretty good bird deal. But that's where the good news ends, and I think this one is probably not going to be your appetite, right? Just working with you in the past, uh, you actually made an offer on a property that's almost identical to this in regards to how it's being sold, right? Uh, there's that other deal I sent you. is that one on Lexington, and you were very interested in it. We actually put in the offer. You were ready to go. Uh, but uh, the seller had sent you their addendum because that seller happened to be a bank and they were selling a foreclosure and their addendum that they required all buyers to sign and agree to uh, had some less than favorable stipulations in it, right? It greatly reduced your ability to do proper due diligence, okay? Uh, on top of that, you had to pay like a technology fee or something like that. That was a decently small amount of money. They wanted you to pay a technology fee, kick in a couple extra grand for uh, their closing costs. But the big thing was the fact that you couldn't do the due diligence, and that's why you backed out of it, right? Uh, they're not going to turn on any utilities, so you're not going to be able to verify uh, the condition of some of the systems and you felt that uh, given your limited ability to do the proper due diligence uh, that the deal wasn't for you well this one's being sold by the exact same seller so the same rules apply so I don't really think it's going to be worth investigating any further because you're going to end up in the same spot right if you were comfortable with that you would have did the Lexington deal this one is going to be the same and uh, the spread's probably even thinner right because I'm looking at 40 Plus the roof, that's 50. That already takes us to all in about 70. ARV is about 80. Uh, and that doesn't account for what's going on with the water system, the plumbing system. Are existing pipes cracked? Are they stolen? Uh, does the furnace work? Uh, does the gas supply to the house actually work? Does the main line? You know, there, there's a lot here. And you won't be able to do the proper due diligence. And since you're kind of a risk-adverse conservative investor. Uh, I just see no scenario where there's going to be a deal that's going to pan out here. 
Because, um, again, we were already in the driver's seat on basically this exact deal when you look at the Lexington property. And you weren't comfortable then with those terms, so I see no reason why you'd be comfortable now. So my suggestion is to move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.